but I bet you get no work done here and you die. But let's, um, you know what? Let's let's watch this from the top view, and uh, and get a sense of uh, what's actually happening here. So there's Golgar and his troop over there, and we're gonna hit play. So the the Zen's taking a real nice angle here, using the stairs too. You get side flanked by the soldier. Oh no. Oh yes, what the holy- The Angry Llama is made for adults who enjoy honest crass cutting reviews when we're talking fucking llama. Sensitive bipeds need not apply. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the farm. Today we have Golgar, and Golgar is actually doing the editing. So I'm sure he's going to put in some crap that I probably never said about him right here. Golgar, are you fucking stupid? Everything Golgar says is a fucking lie. Wow, that was bullshit. You know I didn't say that. All right, Golgar wants a fucking submit my replay. I will do it because Golgar does a shit ton around here. Okay, he's uh, now on his DPS. He's a tank main, usually in plat. He is a mid gold soldier 76. Uh, roasting level. You better bring it because I get to edit and make myself look amazing. Yeah, I just mentioned that, dickhead. I saw it coming a mile away. Oh, I saw it coming, is what Lights would say and then have no idea that she was making an innuendo. What is holding you back? I've been hovering between 2,000 and 2,300 for the past two seasons. I feel like I'm not finding value. In times, I just tense up. My aim goes to shit. I feel like I need to min-max and cuddle more with llamas. And I want to ride alpacas just- What am I reading? I made most of that up. Uh, this game's a win. ba da 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 ba da da Dude, let's just see how shitty your soldier is, huh? Let's get right into it and crap all over Golgar. <laughs> Okay, we're on board with Golgar. We are doing uh, the Havana, and uh, we are just about to go here on the Soldier 76. Well, I thought we were. Back to Golgar, cool. So we set up here in high ground, very common spot, cool. Let's see what he gets done. Now for all you new soldier people, all the way down there, you can get shots, but they will not be effective shots. So they're about half the value. You can put out a little bit of value here in the beginning, but don't get yourself killed for these shots. You're not doing enough damage to make it worthwhile. Snipers from this spot can do work. You kind of can't. Yeah, send your rocket. Fine. Uh, ain't... Golgar, the first rocket you get... It's like a whole group of people. Just shoot it at all their feet. Instead, you shoot it at the tree. It's very strange. Oh my god, your healing station. Every... Golgar took a point of damage. Golgar took a point of damage. Ambulance incoming. What the holy hell, dude? Run! Run! You would have killed him if you shot him in the feet. Swear to God. Like, why do you guys keep doing this? Cut it out. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Boom, boom, boom. You know to run. That's great. Peace out. Okay. You have 47 health. Now, the Reaper is at, uh, what's he got? Like 250? 250? Okay. Right there. You rock at his feet, and that's 200 damage, so you'll hit it? Uh, is that two? No, it's like a buck. What is the soldier rocket? Please hold. Okay, 120 damage. So it, it can do a buck 20. He has, uh, each one of those is, what, 25? 25, 50, 100. He has 150 health. So um, uh, another two shots and a rocket. Yeah. Too bad. That's how you confirm kills on soldier guys, is you confirm with Helix Rocket. Get people uh, low, and then they still think they have a chance, and then Helix Rocket. A lot of um, getting kills in Overwatch is doing not the standard amount of damage your hero does, but a surprising amount. So, like, hitting them fast, hitting them uh, with everything at once, etc. Here goes Reaper upper left again, right? Are you paying attention to him? I'd pay attention to him. Yeah. You're like... Mm, a little out of effective... No, you're fine here, but... No, 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 no. After you stabilize, it's time to leave. Hog can hook and kill you. You can literally tickle Hog. 
So what are you going to do here? You're going to catch a hook? Oh, your tank catches one instead. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Dude, um, Soldier is is not a um, stand in the group character. You are not Baptiste. You are not uh, Reaper. You are not May. You are not uh, Lucio. Oh, God, just get out of there. No, uh, it's weird. So you ran all the way over there. I thought the move would have been this. Here's... That noise is going to get annoying. Okay. Here's the calculus that's going through my mind. If I stand here, I may get killed because I'm facing their front line. And the damage I'm about to do will not be of value. Why, Llama? Well, because they have full support. They have supports. So if you're hitting that front line, that's not really going to do us a ton of work. Oh my god, I know Girth Brooks. I actually know this dude. Makes a whole bunch of sense. He's stuck in gold. Okay, so... Um, uh, so this fighting, this, okay, anyways, so what I was saying was, um, soldier, you can make a difference. You're down two. So right now we have to do a bit of a Hail Mary. Okay. So we either go die on cart or when you were legging it, I thought you were going to come up the stairs, come back, uh, this way and then make a push. So, so what you could have done here, and believe me, you've got like a 15% chance of this working too, but maybe take out the Zen. Maybe take out, where's Deanna? Deanna's on the other side of the car, shit. Maybe take out this soldier because he's not paying attention. But I bet you get no work done here and you die. But let's, um, you know what, let's, let's watch this from the top view and, uh, and get a sense of uh, what's actually happening here. So there's Golgar and his troop over there and we're gonna hit play. So the, the Zen's taking a real nice angle here using the stairs too. You get side flanked by the soldier. Oh no. Oh yes. What the holy. Okay. One, that shouldn't have worked. Two, if you were that close to visor, behind them would have been the move. Three, that shouldn't have worked. Wow. Let's see what's going on now. So Golgar doesn't know where he wants to be. Hmm. Where would I want to be? I would be playing like Ticket Booth and um, or Newsstand or whatever that is. And also this Payload. So I kind of like his spot. Where'd he go? There he is. Um, all right. So this is a little close for me. This is, oh, you make me nervous, dude. You're always like five feet too close for me. You make me like, like instead of like being ready for the Reaper, you're on the fucking flank of the Reaper. Instead of being like out of hook range, you're just in hook range. Like just back up a little bit, dude. Your tracking's nice, though. Oh! <laughs> <You're tra> <laughs> the, moment, the moment I said his tracking was nice, he put a direct rocket into his own fucking car and himself in the chest. <laughs> Go, on. That visor, though. Dude, no! Why? Guys, why does everyone... It doesn't work like a squirt gun. It doesn't, like, seem more effective as you get closer. Like, dude, you don't have to keep... It's, it is so fucking weird. It's like the enemy team is a magnet for everybody. You can aim. Your aim's not bad. Just fucking stop running at him, dude. What are you doing? Running at him, running behind. Nick, what are you doing out here? Oh, God. Why would you... Pack? You heard him say that. Why would you back up instead of run forward? You could have gotten out of there. <laughs> That's all right. All right, all right. Uh, they're coming in with their ultimates. I swear to God, Girth Brooks is my ex-girlfriend's brother-in-law. And we used to play Overwatch together, but he's too big of an idiot. He would drive me nuts. I had to unfriend him. <laughs> He would he would run forward on Reinhardt and just swing his hammer and be like kill stuff and think that was the greatest play ever. Uh he was in silver then though, but welcome to gold. Good job, Girth Brooks. Dumbass. You do that same thing lights does. Like you turn then run. You can like turn and run. Like, you can get it, uh, oh shit, 
Just get out. Just get out. So we're in mid gold. Hmm. Your tracking's decent. Your aim's decent. This is a decent. Yeah. All right. Go get this. Fine. We take this high ground. Cool. We see the. Why? Why, I ask? Oof. I guess my question is the same one that I gave to the soldier who was sub 500 um, when we went into some training together is when they have a Reaper or kind of like a really hard, not a hard counter, but a counter that's going to suck for your team. So let's say a good tracer, a good reaper. Um, I don't know, a fucking great widow. Um, a lot of times your teammates won't be the people that watch YouTube videos or get coaching, right? So they may not realize that reaper on the other team is doing work and maybe their carry. I don't know. He's at least getting to the back line causing problems. Um, to not focus on that to me is weird but it's also very gold it's uh oh i shoot things in front of me i make decisions based on what's in front of me that next step is they have a reaper i'm gonna do a little bit of work ah it's been six seconds let me go fuck up that reaper now i know we joke all the time when i play with you guys in the farm and that oh what's llama gonna go do oh he's gonna go spawn camp right and i joke but really when i identify a carry i like to fucking end their day why let him back into the fight and if there's no carry, I'll do it to their healers. Why let them back in the fight? I'll trade a tracer for an Ana all day. I will sit at their spawn all day. It's about taking out the variable that has the most impact for the enemy team. That's not always going to be their Reaper. I'm not even sure it is the Reaper. It might be the other soldier. Um, but right now, um, he's doing work, and it seemed like we didn't even pay attention to where he was, and that would have been my number one mission. So that was weird, right? Um, I wonder what you were waiting visor for. I saw that there was a diva, so maybe a DM. You were waiting for like a really long use of the DM. Uh, but that looked pretty juicy. Don't know. Don't know. What are you doing? What are you actually doing? You must start. There you go. I hear him. I hear him. I can't believe you. Wow. So that, oh, this is in there too. That Reaper's not great. Ooh, 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 ooh. Rocket, rocket that feet. Rocket that feet. Be patient. Rocket the feet. What? I don't even know. Whatever. You got it done. All right. Girth Brooks is actually reasonably playing well. It probably is not my old brother in law ish type dude. All right. Fine. I'm letting that go now. Angry llama he is. Yeah, I don't know, man. That was kind of crazy, right? You know what's tough on this third point is um, you can play Soldier. It's just so much easier to play Widow and um, Hanzo, even Ash. But let's see. Oh, Jesus Christ, what are you doing? <laughs> well, you're fucking crazy. You just lean over the edge. You're fucking... <laughs> That's so crazy. Keep running, dude. Keep running. No, jiggle it, jiggle it. <laughs> run, jiggle, run, jiggle. <laughs> Go guys, I'm fucking no, you're gonna get hot! Oh shit, dude, run! Run, Forrest, run! That's not me telling a stand of trees to start moving, kids. It's a movie from the 90s. Suck it up. Oh my god, dude, your rocket is on a six second cooldown. Your rocket is at least on an 18 second cooldown. And then you fire it into Buicks. Like, take it down a notch. Really nice aim. I'm just not sure why you think you have to be within tennis court range to shoot people. Why do you keep walking forward as you shoot him? Stop. Put, put a, a post-it note. I'm going to stop walking forward as I kill things. What are you, collecting loot? Are you playing some other game I'm unaware of? Listen, if you do that 
and you actually launch rockets at the feet, I can see you climbing. Um, even like like your game brain is very much present. What's going on, game brain? Um, I think to climb to hmm, well to climb to diamond, you're gonna need more game brain. But to, you can probably get to plat with this. Good positioning, good aim, better use of your cooldowns. Remember, your rocket has no fall-off damage. So, like, you could have sent a rocket at the beginning of that fight and caused a whole bunch of chaos. Do it. Do it. Do it. There's a reason to do it, because the diva's dead. Damn. Uh, I, I thought it was so juicy, but I think you were right. It wasn't that juicy. Run! Leg it, you f lazy fuck! Stop walking forward! Holy fuck, Golgar! You walk so slowly backwards in such a predictable path that it makes my stomach hurt to watch it. Like, I get anxious for you. Oh my god, you're just gonna stick your head out, huh? Nah, yeah, you don't give a fuck. Guys, peeking is not throwing a left tackle 10 yards over there. Peeking is putting out just enough to see, but not be seen. Not go say hello every two seconds. Golgar, anybody with a hit scan should be just fucking killing you. Like, you are you are doing well here because this team is terrible. Um, the enemy team, I, I mean, is not exploiting your weaknesses, is what I'm saying. And maybe the matches that you are losing, these are getting exploited. So, uh, just to wrap up here, because you you got a couple things you need to work on. Stop moving forward for no reason, right? We talked about this one heavily. Um, stop peeking your entire body plus three. Let's just get down to one body to the left of the pillar, right? This pillar right here. Um, let's, we can just be right on the left of it. We don't have to be fucking way out here. <laughs> And then walking slowly backwards. Just like lights, you gotta turn and run. You gotta learn that move. Turn and run. Okay, fine. Um, and your rockets are on a six second cooldown, have no fall off damage. And for you, they're on an 18 second cooldown. So I want more effective rockets. I want rockets at feet. I want you to stop walking forward. And I want you to see but not be seen. All right, Golgar. You better. Mm, you better get better. I don't know. I, I, I kind of felt a little rage and then it went away and I was like, all right, Golgar, you can be fine. You're fine. Okay, Golgar, I see you in a few weeks now. Uh, make sure you edit this to make yourself look like a real piece of shit. <laughs> okay, good job. Uh, Lama out. A few moments later. We lose. <laughs>
Golgar. Are you fucking stupid? Everything Golgar says is a fucking lie. 